Hello guys, welcome to my Ethereum Decentralized Application Development course. So in this course, uh, we will build a election voting app that uh, fully decentralized. Okay, allow user to vote for candidate. Uh, first of all, we will learn about the architecture of the decentralized applications, and then we move on to the Truffle framework. We continue with the coding the Solidity smart contract uh, using Visual Studio Code here. Okay, and then we make automation test with uh, Mocha and Chai, and uh, we continue with laying out the web UI here, and uh, the core is uh, the JavaScript code to communicate between. Uh, our smart contract and web UI and after that we deploy our smart contract to the Rinkabyte test network uh, using get client here okay and uh, another option is uh, uh, using the chop for HD wallet with the infura we will deploy our smart contract to drop stand testnet Okay, the final step to make our app become fully decentralized is using IPFS, the distributed file system. So that is, we will learn a lot and see you in my course. Hello guys, so in this lecture, let's talking about the big picture of decentralized application and the role of Web3 in this big picture okay so at the back end side you can see here we have a peer-to-peer -peer network ethereum network and inside each node you can see have uh, the contract and the event and the stock is that store the um, state of the ethereum network which is contain the account balance or the transaction history. So uh, we have back end here. Okay. At the front end, we have uh, the client side application and a web browser that uh, accept um, crypto with with a uh, plugin like MetaMask. Okay. And Web three here at the middle of the picture, we interact with the Ethereum network by contract API call or subscribe to the event happen and get back the information and then update the client side app. So this part is very important and I can show I, I will show you how to do all of this in the next lecture. Okay. See you Hello guys, so in this lecture I will guide you through the installation of tool in order to follow this course, okay? I using Visual Studio Code in this course, so Visual Studio Code just putting in Google and search for this editor it's quite nice, okay? so just download and install and after install, uh, one more thing you need to install is the um, the Web3 package. So of course, uh, before that, you need to install npm. Okay, so you need to get npm from here. Uh, Node.js, yes. and you you install the the long term uh, version, long term support version here. So after install node, you also have the npm. Okay. Now I need to install the main packet. We working on npm install web three. So that is this is we ready for the course. Okay. See you. Hello guys. Uh, in this lecture, let's talking about the 
creation of web tree object okay this is the first task we need to do uh, in order to using web tree so basically it's gonna contain two steps the first step is uh, require the web tree library web tree uh, note that this is uppercase so to this thing guy with uh, another website we create a letter require mm -hmm. web tree okay and then the second step we create a new instance of web tree object new web tree and in here we will put in the the blockchain network we want to working on okay so i will introduce with you the three network so first of all is the i'm gonna check local blockchain okay this uh, this network is very convenient for development and try with smart contract deploy which is very fast but this is only on the local PC, okay? So I start the Ganache here and copy the while to connect. So let while Ganache equal to localhost at port 7545 okay now put the while in here and i will try to print now control lock the web tree up set we created and let's run this node create Okay, you can see here is print out the function the method of the web tree. And we will, in this course, we will cover the most important part of this. Okay. So the second network I want to introduce with you is using Infura. So Infura is a service that uh, help you to connect to the Ethereum network uh, in the in fast way and they provide a PBI after register and log in you will go to dashboard here and you can see here the endpoint to connect to blockchain so for example uh, I can select here I want to connect to mainnet or testnet drop stand tennis cover or tennis ring okay so example i want to connect to mainnet copy this uh, url and put in here let well in fura put it in here okay now try with now uh, I have Infura here, Infura. Okay. And if you try to log out the method, it's the same. Okay. The final method uh, I want to introduce with you to connect to Ethereum network is uh, using GET. So it means you need to hosting the a node inside the PC and start the get client uh, Ethereum client that uh, writing in Go language okay and uh, I start the get with uh, the Rinkabai network Rinkabai testnet and using RPC okay and you can see here the URL I want to use to connect with uh, my no-code node 
Ethereum node. The third way uh, using get. Okay. Let URL go to So I want to try with uh, URL get okay. Um, one of the this this advantage of uh, this method is you need to to wait on the block swing back to the local completely until you can. Until then, you can uh, fully working with the network. Okay, that is quite a, like a pain point. Okay, so in this course, most of the time I will use uh, local blockchain or use Infura. Okay, so that is. So see you in the next lecture. Hello, guy. Uh, in this lecture, let's talking about the creation of web3 object okay this is the first task we need to do uh, in order to using web3 so basically it's uh, contain two steps the first step is uh, require the web3 library web3 uh, note that this is uppercase so to distinguish with uh, another website we create a letter require mm -hmm. web3 okay and then the second step we create a new instance of web3 object new web3 and in here we will put in the the blockchain network we want to working on okay so i will introduce with you the three network the first of all is the I'm gonna check local blockchain okay this uh, this network is very convenient for development and try with smart contract deploy this is very fast but this is only on the local PC okay so I start the gonna here and copy the while to connect so let while gonna equal to localhost at port 7545 okay now put the while in here gonna And I will try to print out control lock the web tree up site we created. And let's run this node create. Okay, you can see here is print out the function and method of the web tree. And we will in this course we will cover the most important part of this. Okay. So the second network I want to introduce with you is using Infura. So Infura is a service that uh, help you to connect to the Ethereum network uh, in the in fast way and they provide the API after register and login you will go to dashboard here and you can see here the endpoint to connect to blockchain so for example uh, I can select here I want to connect to mainnet or testnet, ropestand, testnet, covano, testnet, ringabye okay? 
so example I want to connect to mainnet copy this uh, wire and put in here let well in Fura put it in here okay now try with now uh, I have Infura here, yeah? Infura. Okay. And if you try to lock out the method, it's the same. Okay. The final method uh, I want to introduce with you to connect to Ethereum network is uh, using get. So it means you need to hosting the a node inside the PC and start the get client uh, Ethereum client that uh, writing in Go language okay and uh, I start the get with uh, the Rinkabai network Rinkabai testnet and using RPC okay and you can see here the URL I want to use to connect with uh, my no code node ethereum node the third way uh, using get okay let URL go to So I want to try with uh, while get okay. Um, what are the this and this advantage of uh, this method is you need to to wait on the block swing back to the local completely until you can. Until then, you can uh, fully working with the network. Okay, that is quite a, like a pain point. Okay, so in this course, most of the time I will use uh, local blockchain or use Infura. Okay, so that is. So see you in the next lecture. Hello there. In this lecture, we will continue with account get account balance game okay? so first start is uh, very similar to previous one we require web3 we get it uh, http url uh, on infura to connect with mainnet here okay it's mean real uh, ether blockchain um, ethereum blockchain and then we create new instance of web3 now we ready to use so first of all we want to get some address now let's go to etherscan.io here and go to blockchain top accounts and you can see i will get this address it's a largest account okay so from here you can see it have um uh -huh, one and a half million more than one and a half million eaters wow it's you I copy this address and copy to our code okay now we will use uh, web3 dot uh, ether dot get balance okay and we put in the let address here equal to put in the address okay now we call uh, callback functions and uh, 
wait for the return so in here I have function uh, first uh, input will be error if we have and then is balance return if everything okay so we will check if no have any error we will try to console log out the balance okay else we will print out the error console log the error okay that is let's try to run the code uh, note get a car balance enter okay it's return here but uh, you can see that the default you need here is in way so I I want to show the result in the eater I can do this with the web tree utility okay so I put in here web tree dot utilities uh, dot from way and I want to convert it to eater okay eater that is let's try to run again not get a calm balance okay seems it work right more than one and a half million of eater send the result we see here so that is we complete uh, using web tree to get the cow balance see you in the next lecture hello so in case of uh, uh, managing multiple accounts um, web tree have an idea called wallet okay now let's try to create a new wallet from web tree here so let wallet equal to web tree dot eater dot cow dot wallet okay uh, dot create now I put in here uh, how many account I want to manage by wallet for example two and put some random string here some random string okay that is now let's uh, lock out the wallet informations okay not wallet oh no okay so you see here the account is created and managed by wallet we have two account and is indexed from zero okay now let's try to access the first account and we use zero here okay try to run it oh, sorry I saved okay I have the information for first account mm -hmm. another method with our wallet is uh, I can add new account to wallet for example uh, I will try here to create more car net cow web tree eater a cow and crits I create new car okay and I can add new account to our wallet add with the private key account 
uh, sorry typo cow dot private key okay now finally I want to print out the wallet and I expect that now inside the wallet have three account okay because I create through here and I'll add one more here try it okay you can see we have three account so have some more um, method related to the wallet you can try out other web tree document here okay uh, accept to accounts and wallet okay so some more here and you can accept uh, to the detailed information that is see you in the next lecture hello so welcome to the section two section about the blockchain okay this is the uh, real term ethereum blockchain so uh, from etherviewer.live you can see here the incoming transaction and is continuously uh, forming new block okay and in real time you can click here and it automatically opens the blocks uh, block information inside etherscan.io so you have all the information here um, in this section we win uh, doing on block inspection mean getting information on the block okay then subscriber as a new block come to the blockchain subscriber as a new log from the event of contractor smart contract and then subscribe the pending transaction so that is see you in the next lecture hello so in this lecture we will do inspection the block inside blockchain okay the first function i want to show you is get block number so basically it returns the current block number okay now try it out web3 dot ether dot get block number this function return a promise I use then result here and I can try to print it out with auto function console dot log the result okay I'll try to run it note Baroque inspection. Okay, S the latest one here. Let's try to see inside the ether scan. It is the latest block. Okay. The second function I want to show you is a uh, get block. The detailed information for block. So web three dot eater dot get block is also return a promise then I have um, block here any name you want and I use a row function to process change this a little bit okay now I want to control dot lock the block okay so the input for the get block is a block number or block hash or the string example the latest okay or pending so I try out this number
Okay. Uh, try to run it. Not block inspection. Okay, the latest block now is uh, this one. Okay, and here is the uh, block information of uh, this block. And you can see here the all the detailed information uh, from the block event here to the root of the uh, data and the most important thing is transaction inside okay so that is um, I will try to combine two function and get information uh, about the first latest 100 block so I will try out like this okay compare it now from the latest number latest block now four let me go to zero I one hundred plus okay now I use web three eater dot get block okay I push in here the parameter is the result here minus i and each result i it uh, return a promise then i have block okay i could process it block by log it out so it's contain a lot of information so I I think I care about the block has or block number here so I print out the block dot block number dot number okay the few name here hmm. let's try to see it out run so you see you can access to the information in uh, latest 100 block okay quite cool um, one more thing I want to say about the get block is you can use string or you can use block hash so for example here I, I use a block number but you can put in here the latest one okay try it out console block dot number seven oh two right seven oh two the latest one or another string you can s put in is um, pending it mean coming in block okay. now try to run it okay coming in is 705 it not yet exit here okay so it's called pending or you can use um, hash block hash so I try copy here okay now try to get a hash 
example this block 707 is block hash here copy it oh. now put in here try to run it it's return 707 right on the block number is that it and the final function I want to show is called get transaction from block so let's try it out web3 dot ether dot get transaction from block okay now I what I put here is the block number and the index of the transaction I want to get okay so for example uh, I do want to get transaction in this block 707 and I get the the third transactions inside the transaction list okay so I put in here 2 it index from to uh, 0 and then I can control log the transaction okay let's try to run it okay it's print now the block has block number and the transaction has here so that is uh, see you in the next lecture we will go with uh, subscribe as a block header okay see you hello so in this lecture we will start to subscribe data from the ethereum blockchain now first of all uh, one important thing is to subscribe that data we need to use a websocket link here okay not a http link you see before and create the web3 object as normal okay now the first thing I want to subscribe is subscribe the new block header so every time I have a new block coming in is when uh, subscribe and print out the data okay now let's try to do it web3 dot eater dot subscriber and this in this file I will subscribe the new block headers this function will return a promise with callback function so first parameter is error if have any and then the block Header, okay. The row function to process. Uh -huh. If no have any error, we will try to print out the block header. Else. I will print out the error here. Okay. Now let's try to run this. Not subscriber. So sometimes it will take uh, a little bit, wait a little bit in order to data coming in. Okay, so data coming in and you can see the 
block header data here. Mm -hmm. So is the we you can see the event log here. The root state root the receipt root and transaction root gas information about gas and the hearts okay so that is see you in the next lecture hello the next uh, thing i want to talk about when we do subscriber is subscribe the pending transaction actually it's the incoming transaction and not yet confirmed okay so it's just stop it just happened so let's try to do it first of all we also need to create web tree like before with the web socket link from infura okay now web tree ether dot subscriber subscribe and here I subscribe the pending transaction okay it return a callback so error sorry or the transaction hash so I handle with a Arrow function here and try to console lock out the transaction hash transaction hash here okay now let's try to run it not subscribe pending transaction okay you can see right now uh, a lot of transaction happening a lot of okay so just stop and see one transaction from the ether scan mm -hmm. put it here okay state it is pending here okay you can see the from to with value so i want to do more one thing on this i want to find out the transaction with the value the value of uh, transaction is more than one ether for example so I do like this comment with scissor now in here if no have any error do something else control lock house error okay now if no error I will use um, web tree dot ether dot get transaction okay I use get transaction functions and put in the transaction hash that we got before transaction hash as input okay and specify a callback function to handle the return so error um transaction okay. it return the transaction information um, in here for example first of all I try to if transaction not noon try to console now the transaction okay try to run this
okay you can see the chances and coming on okay now I want to filter out the chances and with value the value here more than one eater okay the value here we have value here value is zero here and value here is a lot of this uh, value is uh, based on way way you need okay now let's try to filter if transaction dot we have value uh, larger than equal to we want filter filter chan just in larger or equal to one liter okay so it mean in way this is this number in way okay <laughs> quite large so if the the value is more than one eater i want to control not lock out the transaction hash and lock out the value okay but here i want to convert it to eater so I will see more comfortable until the from way. So I put in here the chances and dot value and convert to either. Okay. So this now log out. The unit here is eater okay now try to run this one wait some time okay chances and hash oh sorry i should comment this out run again okay some transaction is happen with the more than one liter okay we have uh, the transaction here let's try to see inside the ether scan v okay the value here is 60 ether so 60 ether here that is so see you in the next lecture hello in this lecture we will be working on subscribers logs okay the log is a uh, event that uh, happened on the ethereum blockchain okay so first of all we define the web3 object like before and then we have web3 dot ether dot subscriber and uh, here i subscriber for logs okay the second parameter is a filter object that uh, specify what kind of uh, smart contract i want to subscribe and what kind of event inside the inside the smart contract i want but now i'm going to try to subscribe all or everything happen on ethereum and i have the um, callback function to handle the result return okay if no have any error i will try to lock out the lock so let's try to run this note subscribe log part one okay 
I'll wait some time. Okay, it's to run out. Uh, you can see here's a lock object here. Okay. So basically, it contain address. Is the address of the smart contract that uh, uh, the lock happen and the topic. This is the uh, event uh, the subscriber in. Okay. So I want to do a little bit more interesting thing. For example, I interested in crypto kitty game. Okay. Here the game very famous in uh, based on Ethereum network. So I search for crypto kitty inside the scan and here i have the crypto kitties click to the contract and copy it so now i want to subscribe to all the event happen on the crypto kitty okay so basically i think i want to find out on the event the lock happen with crypto kitties okay now copy all of this put in here and okay I put the address inside the finder so I have Find the object and address field and I put the address here. Okay, now let's try to run it. Okay, waste some time. Okay, event happen already. So let's try to to see some event. For example, this one. Okay, I have a transaction inside the Crypto Kitty game. So that is in the next uh, lecture. I will continue. To subscribe more detail on crypto kitty i want to subscribe to specific event that happen on that smart contract okay see you hello let's continue with the part two of subscribe the log in the previous part we already subscribe to all the event happen on crypto kitty smart contract but now i want to focus more on the event okay now let's go to the ether scan and okay it's here now i want to go to the contract and the code here okay now copy the smart contract so code here okay and pasting in Okay, search for pregnant event. Okay, I can see the event here. Copy this. And back to the code. Now I want to build the footprint of the string of the pregnant event. So, pregnant. Hmm. Event equal to okay. I keep only the data tie here and clean up all the name. Okay, 
okay cool now the next step I want to get hash of this string so pregnant event let be hash that equal to web3 dot utilities dot uh, hash tree and I put in the pregnant event string okay try to lock out the pregnant event has here okay try to run this node subscriber the part two okay i have the has copy this has okay now come back to the subscriber code here what i need to do i need to put in a parameter name topics so basically this is the array of which event i interested in okay so i are interested in this event mean the pregnant event Ctrl V okay and uh, from block I interested in latest block latest one okay now let's try to run now waste some time okay you can see the event happen now okay some you some event you can see here the address of crypto kitty and the topic is of the pregnant uh, pregnant event the data here is a data of that event okay so that it see you in the next section hello so from this lecture we will start working with the contract object on web3 okay now contract object is help us to easy to interact with smart contract on ethereum blockchain and you can see here to create a new contract object first of all we need the json interface mean application binary interface of that smart contract and the second uh, parameter is address of that smart contract if uh, it's already deployed to the network okay you know that uh, every deployed smart contract has its own address on blockchain okay so i will show you one example uh, example i interested in omg smart contract omg here okay now i have a contract here click to it then click to code you can see a solidity code of omg here and uh, below of it is ABI contract ABI you can copy it okay now back to the code uh, define constant ABI OMG ABI equal to Ctrl V okay so that is now another thing i want to add is contract uh, address okay constant omg address equal to back to the ether scan and the contract address here copy it paste here 
so now I can create my contract object constant contract omg contract equal to new web three dot iter dot contract and I put in omg ABI and OMG address. Now try to log out. Control not lock the OMG contract. Okay, let's try to run this one. Not create contract. Okay, so you can see the contract object already created and all the method uh, inside the OMG smart contract so that is see you in the next lecture hello in this lecture we will move on to the methods uh, basically the contract like OMG contain the inside it, the method and it implement the ERC20 standard so is implement the uh, some uh, common function like name here to get the name of the token uh, like total supply return the total supply and the balance of we return the balance of a cow okay so come back to code and try to call call that method uh, one more thing I want to say is uh, to kind of method here. The method that uh, do not change the state of blockchain, uh, like uh, get the name, get the balance, get the total supply, we can use the call here. Okay, and I read only action. But the action that uh, change the state of blockchain, like uh, transfer transfer from or approve we need to use uh, the send yeah okay now start with call first we have omg contract here let's continue with omg contract dot methods dot uh, i want to call name first okay name dot call now it's return a promise so i can handle with a callback function this is error uh -huh. result try out to lock out the result here okay try to run it Note method call. Okay, it's returned for me OMG token. And the second method I want to call is total supply OMG dot contract dot method total supply. Okay. Dot call and uh, also handle with the callback function result okay console.log here i have total supply now i put in result here okay try to run it okay I have total supply uh, one more thing I want to show you is get the balance of one account okay omg contract dot matters dot balance up okay I need to put here address uh, 
uh, of uh, OMG token and come back to OMG uh, click to holder here for example I want to get the balance of first one the largest one okay now click copy the address put in here and call error result no control dot lock uh, balance up okay I want to print out the result here try to run it out okay so we have balance here and the total supply uh, that is we will move on to uh, deploy contract and method send in the next lecture see you okay hello guys so in this lecture let's uh, move on to the contract event okay basically it allows us to subscribe for specific event or for own kind of event inside a smart contract okay now let's go to the code okay here for example i interested in uh, crypto kitty so let you out the contract of crypto kitty constant kitty um, abi and constant kitty's address okay now let's go to the ether.io and search for crypto kitty crypto is here okay uh -huh. go to contract and then the code and here you can copy the ABI of crypto kitty paste it to here okay now the address this one copy okay now view out the contract kitty's contract equal to new web3 dot contract okay now the ABI kitty's ABI and kitty's address okay so for example I want to subscribe for all the event happen now try it kitty's contract dot event event okay now the first parameter is a filter so from block I want to interest it in the latest one second parameter is a callback function to handle the return so error or result and a row function lock out the result okay try to run this one not subscribe event wait some time okay you can see the event come out and now I want to do more thing I subscribe for one specific event like transfer okay uh, transfer event okay I try to run it
okay you can see the even even transfer happen here happen okay that is so see you in the next section hello so in this lecture we will go overview of the transaction inside ethereum network okay so uh, in summary we have three kind of transaction the first transaction here is regular transfer ether from one user to one user okay you have the sender and you have the receive account and the amount of ether here but no data attached to so it means transfer ether only okay the second type of uh, transaction is transfer ether from one user to no one it means no have a recipient account here and in data is a smart contract code so it means this transaction is deploy smart contract okay deploy the new smart contract to the network the third kind of uh, transaction is transfer ether from user it could be a human user or smart contract user to a smart contract address okay with a with some data so this kind of transaction mean execute function inside smart contract okay so that is have three kind of transaction uh, first one is used to send ether normally between uh, users the second one is deploy a smart contract to the ethereum network the third one is execute the function inside smart contract okay so in this section we will go one by one with each kind of con each kind of transaction okay see you hello so in this lecture we will start with the first type of transactions this is a transaction that send ether from one account to another account okay first of all we will need to install one more package this is called um, the ethereum zs transactions okay we will use this uh, package to uh, sign the transaction and do serialize before we can uh, broadcast to the network okay now let's do install it from web 3 zs folder uh, npm I have the install command here copy npm install ethereum zs transaction okay okay from the short code we first of all we Define the transaction object. Transaction require require the packet we just install. Okay, Ethereum transaction here. Okay. Now to set up uh, for this uh, transaction, we use Robstand testnet, and I create here here is my uh, infura url for rost and testnet so you can log in you can register to infura and get the similar url okay uh, continue i need to prepare two account because we want to transfer from one account to another account so let's try to do it with this one okay uh, 
console log dot log and I call the web three ether dot account dot create. We are already talking about this in the account part, right? Another account. I'll try to run this. Note, no, no, CD four. Now, note, uh, transaction part one. Okay. Okay, you have two account here, and then you what you need to do is. Um, put it in here comment it out and use use this address to get some ether because you need some balance before you can send the ether right so you go to the rostand testnet rostand faucet okay rostand faucet here and you put the address to here and click to send me test eater okay now I already prepare some my my account so I will do not do that but okay my account here and now I will uh, check the balance in inside my account before I doing the transaction okay so I will do that with web3 dot ether dot get balance okay now account one and I got the balance here I can log it out console.log the balance okay uh, account once account one balance okay Similarly, I can get the uh, balance for account two. Account two. I'll check it out. Okay. Note. Okay, here is in uh, is in the in way the balance before I implement a transaction to send ether from account one to account two. So after the transaction, the balance here will change. Okay, so that is it is prepare for the transaction and we will do it in part two. See you. Hello. In this part of uh, transaction to send ether, I will show you how to build the transaction and uh, broadcast it to the the network. Okay. Now I will writing here the step in order to build the to complete the task. Okay. First of all, we need to build a transaction object. And then we sign the transaction. Sign transaction with the private key of sender. So it should be the private key of account one here. Okay. Now we continue with serialize the transaction. Serialize the transaction and then broadcast the transaction to the network broadcast transact 
Sentosa Network okay now first one is viewing the Janusson object so I constant Janusson object equal to it contains some field of data the first one is nonce this is the the transaction number the highest transaction number of the account will send will sign the, the transaction okay so it should be the, the transaction number of account one and the second is two the two here is I win send to account two okay and the value value here for example I want to send uh, 0.3 ether so I need to convert it to the way web3 dot utilities dot to way okay I send 0 0.3 ether ether okay the final one is the gas limit the gas limit uh, the limit of gas I want to spend when I using the transaction I, I send a transaction okay so it should be this number for the rope stand tennis and the gas price is uh, 10 Z way so web three dot utilities um, two way is here ten and number is G way okay so now about the nonce nonce here um to get the nonce we have a function called web3 dot eater dot get transaction cow okay and the input is the account we want to get is the account one and a function to handle return callback function error uh, tx cow okay now in here the fun callback function so this function is working on the async style so I should put everything here in into the function get transaction cow okay Now I have here the transaction cow service. So one more thing to remember is everything here should be in hexar. So I need to use web three dot utility dot to hex. I convert this number to hexar okay similar to uh, value here copy this function put it here and convert the number to hexar okay one more time this one and the gas prior also so to hexar uh, 
okay uh, let's try to lock out the object with this view change that's an object now note transaction to senator part 2 enter okay we have the transaction object here yeah it seem working fine and now the second task is side the transaction okay in order to sign the transaction, we create a new transaction object. New transaction put into transaction object, and then the transaction dot. Here we use at uh, Ethereum JS transaction object here. We require from the first first line of the file, and then I sign. Okay. with the private key one and uh, the next step I want to do serialize serialize um, cons serialize transactions equal to transaction dot serial okay now I want to build the raw constant draw equal to because it should be the the uh, hr string okay uh, zero x and plus with serialize transaction to string and the format is hexer okay note that the private key here i should uh, use buffer to convert it to the binary form okay without the zero x here the private key of account one now the final step is to broadcast broadcast the the transaction so i use web3 dot ether dot send side the transaction send side the transactions and i put in the raw input the raw transaction and handle with the callback function if it's uh, successfully it's return a transaction hash okay now i have transaction hash now control the hash dot lock transaction hash now checking in uh, one more time okay the first one it builds the uh, object then sign the transaction with the private key note that private key here is in the binary form with the buffer okay when you pass on the private key you remove the zero x here okay note that and then we serialize the transaction to the string and build the hexa string from the the serialized transaction and we put the raw to the function send side the transaction to broadcast to network okay now let's try to run it node okay i need i want to comment this out and if the transaction succeed it return to me the transaction has here and print out to the console okay enter okay it worked now let's try to see this transaction inside the rostan scan okay 
Robstan ethers dot ethers scan dot IR. This is the scan for testnet. Okay. Now put in here. Enter. Go. Yes, it is pending because it just sent out to the network. Right. But uh, see it successfully, and we can put some code here. Wait until the transaction is success is confirmed. Okay. But that is it's success now and. I want to say that uh, let's see the, the value here 0 0.3 ether okay and from 2 I want to see the balance here okay Jonathan still in pending, so the result in balance here not yet, not yet changed. Okay, it succeeds now. I recheck the balance. Okay, you see, it's come to zero dot six ether, and. This one is uh, down 0 0.3 ether. Okay, so that is. See you in the next lecture. Hello. So in this lecture, I will use a transaction to deploy the smart contract on the Rostan testnet here. Okay. So before that, I need to have a simple smart contract in order to demo. So I would like to introduce with you the election smart contract here that in uh, another course I do uh, okay so this is basically a very simple smart contract support for voting action so it has a candidate structure uh, in size ID name and vote count uh, it's many uh, candidates with the uh, mapping and the candidate count. It's many voter with the voters mapping, and at the con contractor uh, action is at the candidate. Okay. So the function, the key function here is vote function. Basically, is the increase the vote count of candidate and set the uh, state of voter to true so mean already vote and then emit the vote uh, event okay that's simple and after view with the chop for framework we have the election of JSON here and we have the bytecode we will use this bytecode uh, as a data in the transaction to deploy smart contract okay now let's start with the code here okay let's copy the code from the okay copy from the chances and send it here paste it here and we just need to modify something okay so first of all to deploy the smart contract we will send ether to nowhere okay this mean command this out and okay now have this value fill and the nonce still like before the gas limits I need to increase the gas limit in Rostan network I will use a one one million way and the gas price the same okay and then I need to put one more uh, fill is data okay this is the uh, hexa the raw 
the raw data that build out from the smart contract so I will set the data before uh, const data equal to I'll come back to the election smart contract I copy all the bytecode here okay Control C now paste it into data that is no. the remaining is very similar we create new transaction and sign it with private key and do the serialize okay finally we send out to the uh, network to broadcast the transaction now let's try to run this okay node transaction to deploy contract enter okay transaction successfully now let's check out this one on the ether scan for uh, rostan tetanus put in here is pending status and uh, mm -hmm. the data you can see here the input data okay is here it uh, it is contract creation okay so is queen is already in the block this block okay it's success and we have the contract address here okay and you can see the code the code is uh, the code which we input in into the data okay so that is now let's try let's try something to see that uh, the smart contract already deployed okay I will need try to call call some function okay so const contract uh, election address here equal to I have contract address here copy and I have const election ABI equal to I come back to the project and get the ABI copy the ABI here copy Ctrl V okay. it's quite long right <laughs> it's okay now I be user contract election contract equal to new web3 dot ether dot contract and I need to put in the election API and election address okay now let's try to call a function election contract dot methods uh, dot the function I want to call here is a uh, candidate cow because the candidate cow here is a public so it's generate the candidate cow functions okay candidate cow
car so dot call handle the callback function with error and result and I will print out the result console dot log of the result so in the in the contractor function here I add two candidates so I expect that uh, candidate count will be two okay if the smart contract is uh, deployed successfully now let's try to run it deploy contract okay two so everything working fine and see you in the next lecture we will use transaction to execute smart contract method okay see you hello guys so in the previous lecture we already try successfully to deploy the smart contract to roast and testnet using the transaction okay now in this lecture we will try to execute smart contract method also using the transaction so i want to copy all of this code to the execute one okay half okay i will have the election not right election ibi and the election contract here okay comment this out now cut all of this control next below here okay comment it out so here um the transaction object i only need to change the transaction object to here to i need to send to the address of the smart contract so here is election address okay make sense and the data the data here is not the whole smart contract by by code but the uh, encode of the function we want to call okay now let's try to do it the data here equal to the contract dot method dot vote so you can see the inside the smart contract we have the vote method here okay now vote and I vote for candidate one okay then I do and code ABI and I got back the data I need for the transaction object okay everything else is the same okay here 1 million okay same let's try to run it note transaction to deploy contract to execute smart contract okay some error contract ah sorry here is, should be election contract so let's clear and try again okay it worked so let's try to see this transaction inside the rosan testnet 
is pending so you can see the here is it's called the vote function here okay so that is is this completed and all the thing about the transaction I want to show you basically is uh, have three kind of transaction the first one is regular transfer it from user to user the second one is used to deploy smart contract and the third one is you to execute the function inside smart contract okay so that is see you in the next session